How's it going, everybody? I'm Patrick Static. Welcome to the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Please tell me about you guys' day down in the comments. Hope my nuggets are doing well today. I've got a special treat for you today. This is a very cool indie game I found on Steam. I think it was like, like eight or nine dollars. And uh, it's all live action. And we are a psychiatrist. I think we're like a psychiatrist talking to certain individuals about a murder. Now, I do know about... I, I've played this game about 25 minutes. I, I recorded this previously, and I only recorded about 25 minutes of it, and none of the video recorded. So, I'm doing a different program to record this with. So, I do know a little bit, but I'm still really confused about the game. So, I'm going to play the new... I'm going to do a brand new game. It's going to erase nothing. I don't have anything here. But, uh... Let's jump into the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. Now, again, it does all of it live action, so here we go. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? I can see people's dreams. No, I'm not Dr. I've, Decker, uh, by the way. Set up an experiment. My dad is trying to hurt me. Quantum That's suicide. That's not good. Have you heard of it? If I concentrate hard enough, and I know when the person's going to be asleep. I can have the dream with them. Well, That's creepy. Let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. It feels like the paintings are watching me. Sometimes okay. when I walk through a door, it takes me somewhere else, literally somewhere else. That would be cool. God loves chaos, but something goes wrong. Man and woman evolve. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. It starts as a I like that guy. Woman. I don't know why. Double glazing, probably. Dr. Decker. I think we both know what you dreamed about last night. That's creepy. I've seen its silhouette changing through the window. Because he thinks I'm evil. Dad's trying to hurt you. Because I can see things other people can't. Like On the what? basis, the central component of our universe is chaos. Science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. I did what you said, Doctor. I love that guy, I don't know. They arrested me. Which means that at any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world. No matter how much chaos that would cause. I thought you were supposed to fix me. I'm telling you, it's eating people. And you're just laughing! A lot of people You're seem insane, to be insane, Doctor. A lot of people are mad with this Dr. Decker. Listen to me. You're not listening. I'm it's listening. Your only bloody job. I'm listening. Okay. Okay. Well, we're not Dr. Decker. We are his predecessor. Now, I found out when I was playing, Dr. Decker actually Doctor, died. You're late. And after all those promises, never mind. Doctor. Let's not keep the pace. So it's, it's interesting watching this a second and time for me. After all those promises. Doctor. You're late. Doctor, you're and after late. all those and after all those promises, never mind. Never mind. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So this game is very interesting, like I keep saying. Act one. Who are you? Now, the game revolves around me interviewing Doctor, people. Oh, hello. I didn't late. actually see this. And after all those promises, mm, never mind. Let's not keep the patients waiting. And if you want anything, just Oh, sorry, I forgot. I'm not going to be here. The police still have going? some questions they want to ask about, you know. And then after that, I'm dropping in to see Ben. He's still in shock, and I thought we'd show we cared. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? Good. Anyway, I hope you're all caught up on Dr. Decker's tapes. I'm not. I think Mariana is in first, but I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. I'll see you later. Or tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow. I'll leave it to you then. Okay, I didn't see that cutscene when I played this earlier. So... That, that was interesting. Uh, our secretary actually talked to us. So it says a red dot next to a patient means to ask them more questions. And amber means you're done. The continue button appears when all patients are amber. If a dot turns green, you've probably asked too much. You can watch replays in the response tab. Looks for stars. 
Two stars re uh, means it's important conversation. The other one's an optional one. Try using the same words as your patient. So if they say, my name is Ellen, I'm a nurse, uh, try using nurse and dating to get a response. So basically, I will be asking them questions, and I could use hints too, or check my notes. Going green can turn me mad. Um, okay, so we have five different people here. We have Bryce, who I got to talk with a little bit. Uh, I spent a lot of time with Bryce the last time I recorded this. So I know a bit about Bryce. I don't know anything about... I, I, I know basic stuff about Claire, Ellen, Mariana, and Nathan. So what I was thinking about doing is kind of like what I did last time was I want to do ever I want to do episodes with one single person each if that makes sense. So one episode will just be all about Bryce and talking about him and then one will be about all about Claire and Ellen and Mary and so on and so forth. Sometimes I'll get through them really quickly. Sometimes I won't have anything or I don't know what to ask them. As you can see, I've got a type question here. I could ask them whatever. So for example, we could ask Bryce. Hi, Bryce. How are you? I'm oh. Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. I am. Dr. Professor Patrick. Did you know Dr. Patrick. Decker? I don't. No. Uh, did you know Dr. Decker? No. Um, I, uh, no, I didn't know him. I didn't know. I did not know Decker. He was an antagonistic psycho. I hope you're not from the same school of thought. No, I'm not a psycho. Anyway, so so that's kind of how the game goes. So we basically interview these people and try to figure out their issues as well as if they know anything about the murder of Dr. Decker. So let's jump in. I, I'm going to go through each character so you guys kind of get a little bit of a rough kind of thing about what each character is. But we also got our little notes here. Uh, verbal, mirror, uh, verbal mirroring a new study in psychology yesterday suggesting using the same words as your patients increases trust and including a yes or no when answering questions gives them clear direction. So I can see that. I can go to question and uh, question history and a see what I've previously asked them. I can go to my responses and I can rewatch. an antagonistic psycho. I can rewatch what I've already asked them. And uh, which is extremely helpful because sometimes like, like right now, it doesn't show the little asterisks, but sometimes you'll need to kind of finite to figure out exactly where you want the conversation to go. It sounds really confusing, but we're going to get into it. So we already asked Bryce how he is. How are yo? And no, I didn't know Decker. So let's ask him, how did you know Dr. Decker? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Okay, so certain certain phrases won't proc anything um so let's just type in dr decker that doesn't mean anything to me okay um what is your job i'm a grave digger doctor okay and people are dying quicker than we can bury them a grave digger that must be a fun job kind of a thing now, our secretary did ask us. See, this is the one thing is our secretary told us to talk to Mariana. But I like Bryce just a little bit. Um, so let's ask him. Um, we could also do hints. So we could do, what do you think of Dr. Decker? So that's a great question to ask all of our patients. So what do you think of Decker? I didn't really like Dr. Decker. And for quite a few reasons, actually. Okay. I'd rather talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Dr. Decker is dead, I heard. Uh, I, I figure out through all these questions. So let's go back here. Now, as you can see, our question here has two asterisks, meaning we should kind of pursue what he's already asked. So I'm going to reread really this. Like Are Dr. Decker. What? Okay, so let's ask him, what, what didn't you like about Decker? Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. What did you... He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. Okay. Uh, do, do you think he killed himself? He wasn't a good man. I don't know how he could live with himself. Perhaps he couldn't. Interesting. Now you see, what didn't you like about Dr. Decker went down to one asterisk. 
Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. So let's ask him, what did Decker push you to do? I know you're asking questions to try and get a bearing, but I'd rather not talk about that now. Okay. Let's just enjoy the getting to know you phase before the ugliness kicks in. The ugliness. That's a very strange way. To, uh, the ugliness? Ugliness? Doctor, pace yourself, please. This is my session. I'm paying. Okay. Okay. I, I totally get it. Okay. So we've, as you can see, we've kind of got everything there. So what we're going to do now is go talk to Mariana since our secretary was very kind enough to tell us how that she was first. So uh, let's ask uh, Marianne, how are you? I think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with me. Isn't that how it works? Uh, the police keep picking me up. Why? For public nudity. Oh! <laughs> okay, so I will be honest. I don't know anything about the other four characters. I know Bryce pretty well. Uh, not pretty well. I know up to what we've already established. But Mariana, I... <laughs> public nudity. Uh, public nudity? A question mark? I black out. And uh, then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Naked on a like beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. What? Like a mermaid. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. You can. You're getting suspicious. Suspicious of what? Suspi oh god, I'm gonna spell things. So, so many things wrong. Suspicious of what? I think they think I'm a naturist or something. <laughs> they picked me up five, five times, times in the last what? month. Um. Blackouts. Blackouts. Oh my god, I can't spell blackout. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange, as I can hold my breath for a really long time. What does that have to do? But. I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Okay. And he worked it out. He worked it out? What do you mean he worked it out? He eventually decided it wasn't anxiety, but I'm not going to tell you his final diagnosis. Why not? It would help me. Have a fresh start. I don't want you influenced by the prognosis. Okay, so what? <sighs> That bugs me. You know the answer, but you don't want to tell me. Okay, so as you can see, we have a couple of asterisks. So, let, let's see. I black out. We already established that. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Okay, so remember, what do you... Uh, I don't think she's going to remember anything because she blacks out, but what do you remember? By black out, I mean, I don't really remember anything from the time Damn. I black out. I'm lucky to be alive, I guess. What were you doing before? Uh, what were you doing before blacking, blackout, before blackout? I normally black out when I'm dancing. Dancing? I like dancing. Do you like dancing? Um, I suck at dancing. Marie has been wanting to get me to dance, like ballroom dance. And uh, I I don't even have two left feet. I, I have like nubs for feet, so I, I can't dance. Um. No, I don't like dancing. <laughs> dancing is good for you in so many ways. Just I believe it. I just can't turn do it. Music up, close your eyes, and let yourself go. And then you, you black out. Sometime. Uh, I will definitely, definitely consider it. Maybe. <laughs> uh, so, so there's so many things I want to ask. Okay, so, yeah, oh, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Uh, do we have any notes? Oh, we do have notes. Mariana has blackouts. Does she remember anything during sustaining injuries? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Uh, did you have any injuries? No, nothing like that. I usually wake up on my side like I've been sleeping. Sometimes I'm partially covered by seaweed. Seaweed? Seaweed? I know what seaweed is, but I'm seaweed. That doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, okay. Uh, pff, do you think you're a mermaid? A uh, mermaid? Nope. Don't know. Okay. Don't know. Do you like hamburger? 
No, I don't know about that. You don't know if you like it? Wait, okay, hold on, hold on. Do you like pizza? I don't know about that. How do you not know if you like pizza? D do you, uh, like nuggets? N I can't even spell nuggets. That's not really helping with my blackouts. Maybe they would. Maybe having some chicken nuggets would actually help with your, okay, okay. Blackouts, let's get back on, let's get on pace here. Uh, we could also do a hint, let's do a hint. What do you know about Dr. Depper's? Ooh, that's a great, okay, what did you think about Dr. Decker first? I'm gonna ask her that, and then we'll ask about Dr. the murders. Dr. Decker was fine. Something I should ask all the patients. He had good relationships with his patients, as far as I know. As far as you know. I'm not sure why anyone would want him dead. Did you want him dead? Did you want him dead? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to press it or not. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? Okay, um... I forgot the hint. Okay, so there's cooldowns, too. Okay, so... We've got a couple of things to revisit with Marianne. Uh, Marianne. Uh, but I'm gonna also visit the other three characters, so or other three patients, so you guys can get kind of an understanding of them. This is Nathan. How are you, Nathan? It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Groundhog Day. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? Uh, no, you're not in purgatory. Because I'm stuck between this day and the next. Most of the time, anyway. Interesting way of thinking it. Huh. Uh, uh well, we got a lot of things to ask him about that. Um, what did you think of Decker? Of Decker. Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him, but he won't remember it that way. Why not? Uh, why won't he remember? Why won't he remember it? As far as Dr. Decker was concerned, we had Monday, then moved on to Tuesday. But me, I had Monday five, ten, fifty times before I got to Tuesday. What? Uh, what? Okay, uh, complex, ma'am? I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker was going through. It's work. Let's just say you might look back on your life and think there's nothing you would have done differently. No two days were alike for him in the end. Like, he couldn't decide what to do with himself. Interesting. So Nathan is a strange person. Um, do you have a job? I can't answer that. You, why can't, job? I don't have anything to say about that. Work? You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer for you then either. I asked you like 10 seconds ago. Do you think like seconds or minutes ago was a day? Maybe? Interesting. Um. Hmm. I don't know what to ask Nathan. So we're gonna skip over Nathan and go to Ellen. Uh, hi, Ellen. Hello, Doctor. It's nice to meet you. Oh, you're a bundle of joy. How are you? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. Um. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Uh, what do you do for work? I work in a nursing home. Oh! For the elderly. Well, that's I nice. I basically do end-of-life care. Oh, uh, well, that's... That's kind of sucky. Uh, what about your job? Your job is stressful. I mean, that... It I, can be sad sometimes. Yeah, I can imagine. I don't like losing a patient. No, no one could. But that's the job. I didn't get stressed about it or anything. You just said you got stressed. You just said your job was stressful, but... Uh, okay, well, let's ask you, what did you think of Decker? Again, something I want to ask all the I've a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. That's good. He was interested in my problems. As a psych psychiatric person should be. Hmm, what should we ask you? We have already know your job. Um, do you like your job? 
Yes, I love my job. I love my patients. So positive, I love it. Even the really crotchety ones, you know? Crotchety ones. Oh, you should hear what comes out of their mouths. I don't uh, know. They're like my children in a way. Okay. That sounds weird, doesn't it? No, I don't think that sounds weird. I think, I, I know a couple of, like, teachers that consider their, you know, their students kids sometimes. That makes sense. Um, hmm. Well, we've got Ellen. So she works at the nursing home. She loves her job. She's very positive. So why are you here? That's a good I should ask that to Why are you here? Oh, okay. I've already asked her that apparently. So as you see, if I ask her something that's already related to another question that I've already asked her, it will refer me to... I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months something ago. Something I've already asked. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. But she said it's not stressful. It makes no She just contradicted herself. All right, so that's Ellen. Our last patient we have is Claire. So, hi, Claire. How are you? My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. Um, up to speed. Uh, up to speed? Well... According to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Okay. Oh, and a history of violence. Oh! <laughs> Sounds cherry like you on put it like that top. One, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Uh, uh, violent tendencies? Is that what you said? To be fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. I don't know. And he provoked me. He pro He? I don't have an answer to that. Uh, uh, who provoked you? It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. Insanity? David I'm... had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. David is... How predictable. <sighs> not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. That's quite funny, actually. Uh, who is David? Boyfriend? Keep up, Doctor. Husband. David is my husband. Okay. How long... Oh, uh, oh my god. How long have you two been married? We've been married for seven years, but we don't have any children. I was about to ask. Thank god. Uh, do, do you not like children? David wanted children, but I didn't. I don't think we would have made very good parents. There's no mystery to it. Some people are just not cut out to be parents. That's very true. I don't think I can see either of us wiping sticky fingers or mending grazed knees. At least she's honest about it. Um, do you have a job? I don't work. I don't need to. Oh, okay. Everything's don't. paid for a hundred times over. Oh, great. You're just Miss Richie Rich Pants. Okay. Are you rich? Being rich has its perks. Oh, but okay, honestly, she is. I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. So she's rich, but... Is not happy. Madness? I'm in a bit of a predicament, Doctor. A predicament? Tell me about it. That. Okay, you'll get to it whenever you feel like it. Makes sense. Um, so, why are you here? It's probably gonna... It did. Okay, up to speed. So, what did you think of Decker? The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that it didn't bring it upon himself. But then, I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Uh, one thing I don't know that I should ask is how long have you been seeing Decker? Dang it. Okay, I didn't know if that was... She said not a very long time, but I didn't know if there was a specific time. But, um... Yeah, interesting. Huh. I've gotten to know a, a lot of the characters now just doing this recording. Again, I spent a lot of time with Bryce. Um, this is about as far as I made it uh, with Bryce regarding his stuffs. But, um... I, I really enjoy this game. I think my least favorite character is Ethan so far. He just seems a little weird. Ellen, I don't know why she's here. She seems very happy. Mariana, that could actually be like some problems. Blacking out and then waking up nude on a beach. Uh, Claire, you scare me. Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, but anyway i do i'm gonna i'm gonna stop it here because I, I don't want to go too far without uh i don't want to make the episodes too too long but uh, i do want to know what you guys think about this because i am super excited to get into this game it's 
It's really different, and I, I love it so much. The fact that I can ask them anything I want. I mean, most of the time, they're going to say, like, oh, I don't care. But um, it, it's just drives... What? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, camera. Camera? I've taken a lot of pictures. I have great shots of all the tourist sites. It's amazing what exposure you can use when moving cars are literally frozen still. Must be the sharp focus. Sharp focus? I don't know. I don't know either. I saw him holding the camera, which I didn't notice that. Is in between, if you just sit here and wait, they do different things. I had no idea. Uh, that's actually, I'm going to have to look at all the characters now. I'm going to have to look at all the characters now and see if they do anything. But, uh, again, sorry. I'm going to end it here, though. I hope you guys enjoyed the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. And I do tell me about what you guys are honestly thinking about this. And if you guys want to see more, smash that like button. Just destroy it. Just slap it a bunch. And uh, subscribe today if you guys already haven't. Um, I'll probably upload, again, probably like one or two of the characters for the next episode. And I'll probably be around the same length as this one. So uh, let, me down, let me know down in the comments who two patients we should focus on the next time. But uh, I love you guys' beautiful faces. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And uh, if there's any questions you guys want me to ask these guys, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys all next time. See you guys then.